तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस अनदर वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैनल आई एम अभिषेक वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्प्रिंग बेसिक्स विद स्प्रिंग गुड सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न व्हाट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर बेस्ड डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज सेटर बेस्ड डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन नाउ द वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी स्मॉल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ कोड हाउ टू प्रोग्राम सेटर बेस्ड डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन एंड देन जस्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन सिंगल स्लाइड आई विल टेल यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंस्ट्रक्टर बेस्ड डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन एंड सेटर बेस्ड डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन द ओनली थिंग विच यू नीड्स टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू वॉच द होल वीडियो एंड लेटर ऑन टेल मी इन द कमेंट्स वेदर इट इज यूजफुल और नॉट ऑल्सो शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड लाइक द वीडियो सो दैट वी कैन रीच टू अ लार्जर ऑडियंस नाउ वी आर इन आर आई डी ई and as you can see today we are going to work with this demo 3 so i have already explained the previous demos in the previous videos as always so this demo 3 also i have just copied from this demo 2 only in demo 2 if you remember we i explained you something about the constructor based dependency injection and today the same thing we are going to convert to the setter based dependency injection then i will cover it later on that out of them which one is good and which one you should use or is there any best practice or not that we will cover at the end so this pom.xml is as always same only nothing new here then going on to this particular part this repository so this repository is also same as always repository impl is also same as always here then this owner service is also same owner service is impl is also same you can see still the parameter is constructor is there then this particular demo class is also still same as per our best practices which we remember and this spring config so this is also same configuration bean and everything is available here yeah now as of now let me close all other tabs so here this is the one now first of all let's try to execute it once again so if i execute so here let's go and okay i'll show i'll scroll this up in some time but first you tell me which bean is going to be created first owner service or repository quickly pause the video tell me in the comments which bean is created first owner service or repository now let's see so here if i scroll up you can see that first of all repository got created why so because as you know jvm started from this then it went here then it went here then it went here now it got stuck because it said that i can't create owner service ampl without making owner repository because it is dependent on it we are injecting the dependency of owner repository with the help of parameterized constructor hence owner repository bean is created first and then the owner service bean will be created here so that's the by default sequence okay and things were working fine as of now so that's good now let's move on with the next part and let's see how we can convert this same code to a setter based dependency injection now for setter based dependency injection the rule says that you should not be setting the values with the help of your constructor which means you can't do something like this so let's remove it now since we can't set the values with the help of parameterized constructor then what is the other option left the other option is we need to have the setter methods so can we call the setter methods from this owner service let's see here so we'll go to this one now here you see we don't have any setter methods so it's the time to first of all create those setter methods here so i'll go here and i'll say source and these are generate getters and setters as of now i don't need any getter method there is no requirement as such so i'll just simply make setters so that my class looks smaller otherwise if you wish or as a good practice you can make both of them also so i'll simply make these so here you can see that my setter methods are ready with me and they are now looking something like this so these two setter methods are ready with me okay this looks good now the next thing is that if this is ready now it's the time that i need to make these things or i need to invoke them so i will say here owner service something like this then i will say dot and now i will say set owner repository so this is one and the other one is owner service here so this is the term here and i will say set owner id and this is the one so this for owner id you remember i was choosing value as 10 and i have 
promised you that in future we will even take this from the user as of now you just need to bear with me if you want to learn everything in step by step if you will say no abhishek we don't want to learn in step by step directly jump then that's your choice obviously i won't be able to do you can watch something else also but let's try to learn step by step here so this is perfect guys here now coming back to this so now we are using the setter methods so that means for setter based injection one requirement is that we should be having the setter methods that is number one requirement second requirement is that we should be having a default constructor here because we don't want to use the parameter as constructor now some of you will say that okay java provides the default constructor and you are right but you are half right okay so half information is always dangerous java provides you the default constructor till the time you don't create your own parameterized constructor or till the time you don't create any constructor from your own the moment you create your own constructor java gets angry from you now since java is angry java is not going to create a default constructor for you yes and this time you need to make it on your own so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it here what i'll do is i'll remove these because it's not required and now we need to make a default constructor so this is the one guys default constructor now is it possible that in our code we can have a default constructor as well as parameterized constructor the answer is yes you can have both of them constructor overloading is allowed in java now just imagine if someone says that okay i want to learn spring boot but they don't know what is overloading do you feel that they will be able to learn spring boot without knowing what is overloading what is constructor overloading and everything that is not possible that's why i always say basics are always important guys yeah now i hope you agree with me so if that is the case so now this code is working and here so which one will be invoked so as of now let me just use the term here default okay so if this one will be used then this default word will be printed otherwise it will print this one so now we will come to know which line will be used in order to invoke the constructors then are we setting the repository so you see we are creating the thing with the help of setter method but is it as of now setter based injection the answer is no because we are not injecting any dependency for this we need to do it like this so now this will become your injection setter based injection now you are injecting the repository into your service with the help of a setter method not a parameterized constructor now you tell me what is going to be the sequence of these lines is it going to remain same first repository then service or is it going to change quickly tell me and till the time i'll execute the code here so now i have executed it and let's see the output so this time again code came till this point till this point now this line got executed since this got executed it went here and the default constructor was invoked that's why you see this default term here yeah the parameterized constructor even if you are having it's not an issue so i'm not saying that you need to delete it you can still have it if you wish if you see if it is not at all required you remove it completely like this so in my case i'm going to remove it completely so this is the one so this time when it came here it said that okay i'm able to make the bean so bean is only this much you are able to make a bean of it now you will say but no bean will be created on this line when it will be returned the, that is also correct but the point is at least it was able to create it so now this is your choice if you wish you can set these values here also or if you wish what you can do is you can set these values here also so whenever we are making usage of setter based injection we have a choice when we want to inject the dependency that is one of the main difference between constructor based and setter based dependency injection constructor based dependency injection forces you that all the dependencies should be injected at the time of construction of bean only but setter base says that it is your choice whenever you want to inject if you wish you can inject these two things later on also but as of now it's a good practice to keep everything in configuration class that's why we are doing it like this yeah so now you see first of all service got created now it came to this line 
and that time it understood that okay repository needs to be created and hence the repository got created here so this is the sequence guys let me just now let me do remove this particular one default from here and now let me execute it again without any parameter constructor so still it is same first service then repository why it is so because you see first of all this constructor got invoked and then this default constructor got invoked here now some of you will say that okay abhishek what if that we are making usage of setter based injection but we are not writing this here and let's say we are not at all writing this so i am doing this now you tell me whether the repository bean will be created or not because you are not invoking this method now since we are not invoking this method will this bean be created or not let's see so now if i do now you see service got created then repository got created yeah so both of them are still getting created this repository will always be created by default here after this particular method yeah so that's the main point guys now although this bean got created here but it is not injected that's why you see this null pointer exception so that is the point yeah so setter method gives you a choice that whenever you wish you can inject the dependency that's one of the main differences between your setter and the constructor based injection otherwise as per the practices you should be like when you are initiating something so you should be initiating everything in your configuration class so and now i hope that you are clear with the constructor based injection as well as the setter based injection so now let's quickly see the difference between these two just with the help of one single slide now guys let's see the difference between these two so here as you can see we say that this constructor based dependency the minimum requirement is that you need to have a parameter as constructor beside this if you have anything else in your class that is fine for the setter based the minimum requirement is a default constructor and setter methods now many of the tutorials many of the things you will say that for setter based we just need a setter method why they are saying so because they are assuming that you don't have you haven't created any parameter as constructor that's why they are saying so but i personally know that many times whenever a newcomer or a fresher is learning spring boot and they are learning uh, setter based dependency injection they get confused with this many times they even make mistakes so that's why i always prefer to tell that for setter based you need a default constructor plus setter methods yeah then the point is immutability so when it is constructor based injection what you can do is you can make your fields as final so you can say repository is final you can say owner id is final now since they are final they needs to be initiated with the help of a constructor but with the setter based injection we can't enforce this particular thing yeah because in setter based it is your choice whenever you wish to uh, let's say set that particular thing you there is no one going to force you that you need to i mean inject all these things in the starting only so immutability is a point many times this is required in my case it was not required so i wasn't using it next is required dependencies so you remember that constructor based injection ensures that all the required dependencies should be available at the object creation only so we were not able to create object of or you can say we were not able to create bean of service without bean of repository because it was mandatory here but in setter based we were first able to create bean of service and then we were creating the bean of the repository so that happens so for required you will go for the constructor based now you say there is there is some optional dependency so if there is an optional dependency then one option is so optional dependency means you say it's not a case that i want to inject is always yeah so maybe you say that okay my service is dependent on repository but i don't want to inject it always so one option is that you make two kinds of constructors one constructor will take your repository plus integer second constructor will just take your integer yeah so now whichever constructor you are using at the time of uh, creating bean that way it is going to be started so if you are using only with integer then you don't need the repository 
so that means if you have optional dependencies you need to make multiple constructors but with optional dependencies setter base is more flexible it is your choice whenever you want to set yeah then we say that constructor based is more clear why this is more clear because immediately just by seeing a single method or generally a single constructor it is very clear what all dependencies are required in my constructor you see i was having only one parameter as constructor moment generally i will open a class you will see the constructor on the top after all the fields so it is very clear that which all dependencies are required but setter based is not that much clear imagine in my case class was having only two fields but in the real world projects we sometimes even have 10 to 15 fields also then setter based injection becomes difficult here because you need to scroll down then you need to see whether the setter method is available or not and then whether the setter method is getting invoked or not that also you need to ensure here it is very clear because it is a constructor based injection and constructor will be invoked at the time of object creation only yeah. now the point is which one we should use or is it a thing that we can use only one of them the answer is this is completely your choice if you wish you go for constructor based if you wish you go for setter based i have told you the complete differences here okay so basically constructor based is used when you want something like immutability or you feel all dependencies are required i want them in starting only i don't want to take headache of getting those things later on i want in starting itself then you go for constructor if you feel there are some of the dependencies which i can use later on then you go for the setter based dependency injection yeah so this is basically the difference between these two guys in the real world projects generally we sometimes make a combination of uh, these two so that's not a case we are sticking to one of them yeah so that was all about the difference and i hope this thing is also clear and see you in the next tutorial thanks everyone bye